it used to take me weeks and months in order to understand a single topic but after i discovered how to use ai to study and understand faster what used to take me two weeks and few months now takes me two hours in fact my rate of assimilation increased drastically when i started using ai in this video i'm going to be teaching you how exactly you can study faster understand better and remember difficult topics by using real prompts and step-by-step -step process you can copy so in order to use ai perfectly to study faster in a very short time there are five steps that you need to follow and each of these steps has prompts that you need to drop so whatever subjects that you are trying to study either mathematics physics or chemistry you can condition these prompts and use it and it will help you to study faster so for the sake of this video i'm going to be using oligopoly in economics because this oligopoly is a topic that i've always found difficult so i'm going to use oligopoly to explain what i'm going to be showing you right now on chat gpt so i'm going to be dropping it on chat gpt and i'm going to be showing you the prompt so take note of this prompt as you go on and take note of the step so the first thing that you need to pay attention to is foundational knowledge Whatever topic you are trying to learn, if you don't understand the foundational knowledge, there's no how you can go further. I want to give AI a prompt that will help me understand all the foundational knowledge. And if there's a gap in knowledge, I have to go back to learn those gaps. But then I'm going to give it a prompt that will help me do that perfectly right now. And I want you to pay attention to the prompts as I go on. So the first thing is that I want to ask AI to, to briefly explain foundational knowledge that is required in order to understand oligopoly. And there's a prompt that I use for that. So this is the prompt. I want to study oligopoly like I've told it. And I want you to help me to briefly explain the foundational knowledge that is required in order to understand oligopoly perfectly. And then go further by explaining them deeply. So I'm going to drop the, I'm going to drop the prompt and Yes, that's giving me so that's a good decision. I buy to understand Oligopoly perfectly. You must build a strong foundation, like I've said. So Oligopoly is one of so for, for me to be able to understand Oligopoly, I have to understand the basics of market structure, like I've said. So you can use this for any topic that you are trying to learn at all. So I must understand demand and marginal revenue, I must understand cost concepts, I must understand the basics of game theory, I must understand barriers to entry i must so that is everything so it in fact it's went deeper to briefly explain each of these concepts but i might have forgotten at any point in time so it has gone deep on each concept so whatever topic that you are trying to learn if you go this this is what is going to give you perfectly and you can read it so that is that about that so i haven't gone through the foundational knowledge now this is the time for you to actually give it an outline of the topic and this is what i want you to so tell it to give you an outline of the topic that you want to study and ask you to start from simple to complex by referring to a textbook so take for example if you are giving a textbook in class i have to use that specific textbook to study a particular subject instead of just going through the textbook yourself ai can help you look into those textbook and try to generate the content that you need to understand for that topic itself so and there's a prompt that i use for that so i have a prompt i said give me an outline of the topic oligopoly i range from simple to complex referring to microeconomics textbook that is the intermediate textbook by varian so the textbook i want you to reference now is varian so it's 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 going to outline outline the topic for me in the oligopoly so I, I could drop it and it's going to give me an outline now the first thing for the sake of recap the first thing is for you to look into foundational topic second thing is for you to outline each content in the topic by referencing the textbook so now i have asked you to do that so here is a dictated outline of the topic oligopoly arranged from simple to complex following the logical structure and concepts from intermediate macroeconomics by Berian. So we have the outline. So I have an outline. Now, after having this outline, of course, I'm not going to be studying everything at once from this outline, but then I want to actually learn a particular thing in this outline. So from the outline, you can ask it to 
to schedule some specific concepts that you want to be studying at each minute and at each hour. But then, for the sake of this video, I'm going to just be focusing on a particular topic under the outline of the oligopoly. How many times have you highlighted a text in your book, in your textbook, or an article that you are reading and you feel to go back to it? This has actually happened to me several times until I found out a particular way that actually helps me to go back to my highlighted text and help me to remember them more. And the platform that I use is called Readwise. Now, Readwise is a platform that helps you get most out of what you study. And Readwise makes it easy for you to revisit what you study or revisit what you highlighted from your article or your notes. And one important thing Readwise does is that Readwise imports highlighted texts from from your book, from a, from a PDF, or from iNotes, or from iBook, or from your Kindle, it imports those highlighted texts and it sends them as email to you daily. That is what Readwise does. And instead of just highlighting them and you think that you go back to it and you don't go back to it, when you highlight them and you import those texts into Readwise, it sends you a daily email about it. One thing, Readwise does that it helps you remember most of those things and helps you to grow your knowledge in those things. I've used Readwise a lot and it has really helped me to remember most of the things that I like from text. And this is a particular way you can do it. Now, Readwise. Now, this is the home dashboard and Readwise can help you to import text. So you can import your text from Readwise. You can export. You can also browse highlights. That is, you can search from books that you've read or from books online and search highlights. And you can also adjust the settings of your highlights, whether you want to be receiving four highlights per day or, or every two days at 1 p.m. You can set those times and it will send those highlights as email to you. If you want to get everything Readwise have to offer for free of 60 days, click the link right now in my description and get access to everything readwise have to offer after man i've gotten the outline for the specific topic that you want to study now you should pick where you want to concentrate for that for a particular time and after you might have picked whatever you want to concentrate on this is where the magic happens and this is where you actually use ai to study actively that is you are using ai as a personal tutor and the, the major way you can use this is for you to tell AI to break down whatever you want to study by using analogies and mental hooks and explain it to you as if you are a 10 year old. Now, any concepts that you are trying to study at that point in time, whether it is maths, chemistry or physics or history, they are in their complex form. But most of the time, students actually find it difficult to understand it. And this is where AI comes in. This is the prompt that you need to use in order for you to go in depth and actually pick AI to explain whatever you are trying to study using mental hooks and analogies. Now, I'm going to drop the font for you. I am going to see what I'm trying to say here. Explain the specific topic as if you are teaching a 10 year old using analogies and mental hooks. Now, this specific topic from the oligopoly I can actually put a Connaught model. But this Connaught model is a specific topic that I want to use AI to explain. So I can actually drop it and see what it's going to bring. So now, based on what is given, as you can see, they say, all, all right. Let's imagine you and your friends are selling bottle of cold Zobo at school. You both want to make money. Zobo is a particular mental hook or an analogy that it is using to explain because the AI already knows that you are familiar with that particular type of drink. So it's using what you already know to explain what you don't know because that point you'll be able to establish connection and you'll be able to remember very well. Now, aside from using or not model you can use any other topic to do this and it's going to do it perfectly for you now connot model equals to zobo stand game so now the bi nano is now saying the big idea you and your friend each decide how many bottles to bring at the same time without telling each other but the number of bottles both of you bring affect the price that people will pay if too many bottles are available people don't buy people don't want to buy much 
but if few bottles are available the price goes up this is actually using the scenario that you are already used to to explain the concept of connaught's model which is very fascinating and very very good because it's, it's going to save you all the problems of you trying to think about how to connect it to what you've experienced before and how you can do all those things this is actually helping you and this is where ai can be a, a study partner for you or and even a tutor for you so i haven't gone through all this because this is the analogy imagine the school has 100 testy kids if you and your friend brings too many bottles not everyone will buy so that is the analogy is bringing analogies and even the mental hooks that is connot quantity equals quantity gain so core equals it sounds core so core quantity so it's just giving you different ways you can actually put it into your brain and make it stick so that is that so i haven't gone through that and how you can understand using the mental hooks and the analogies right now you need to go for that by actually going super active that is now is enough it's not enough for you to just read the analogies and the mental hooks you have to be active that is using active learning to actually get what getting what you are trying to learn into your brain and that is where socratic conversation comes in now socratic conversation can actually help you converse with the with the ai and and the ai will actually challenge you by bringing conversations and test your understanding about that thing and that is where you be active while learning and this is where you have to be honest with yourself because you when the ai challenges you with a particular question in order to test your understanding you might be you might be you might fall into the trap of trying to find the solution to the problem but then if you stay to it and try to answer the question that the ai is asking you the ai will help you to adjust as you go on and point out where you make errors and you adjust along the way and that is the best way you can conversate and and that is where the magic happens that is exactly where you'll be able to test your understanding of the mental hook and the analogy you've read and that is where you'll be able to think about what you are reading and be able to remember because when you've established the mental hook and ai has actually helped you to conversate whenever you are trying to remember you'll be able to remember faster so now i have a prompt for that and this is the prompt So this is the prompt let's have a socratic conversation where you ask me question and I challenge my understanding so this is where i can drop the question and we, as you can see it has asked me a particular question say so let's begin imagine you are your friend you are the only one selling zobo in your school if you decide to bring a lot of bottle and your friend does the same what do you think will happen to the price so at this point is asking what will happen to the price if it's only me and my friend selling bottle of so at this point it's trying to challenge your understanding so if you decide to bring little bottle and your friend do the same what will happen to the price now at this point the connot model says that the price remain fixed so of course i'm going to price right price remain fixed so let's see what is going to say about that mm, interesting answer so that's a follow-up why do you think the price will remain fixed if both of you bring a lot of bottles let me ask differently so now i think i dropped a wrong answer and the the ai is trying to retrace the whole thing and make me rethink about my answer the ai is actually guiding you through on the best way you can understand and it's going to it's trying to test you on how you can understand that's the best way so having done that I can go on and on by conversating with the AI and let it challenge my understanding. So that is that. So after doing that, you can as well ask it to increase the, the complexity of your conversation on the topic. So that is another prompt that we can look at. So that's another prompt. Another prompt to slowly increase the complexity of our conversation on the topic. So you can see I'm going to drop it and it's going to actually slowly increase so as you can see the basic understanding so that is that about that so now for going in order to be able to reinforce your understanding about this particular topic and actually make it stick now there are 
study techniques that i've actually discussed so far in, on my video which is active recall and space repetition now the basic the the most important way you can use active recall in this in this case is to ask it to to convert those things that you've learned into quiz and multiple choice questions different ways so you can provide answers to them and it will actually reinforce whatever you are trying to learn and i have a prompt for that and also you can actually ask it to plan a space repetition plan for you in such a way that you don't need to study so much space repetition will actually help you so the ai will give you a plan of space repetition and what you need to study for that particular day so i have a prompt for that and you can see it right on the screen create a quiz and a space repetition plan based on what i've learned so i can drop that and it's going to give me a plan what that so these are the multiple choice questions of everything and also it's going to give me a short answer kind of recall practice write one sentence and also the two hour space repetition plan so recall this over analogy for memory say it aloud and written so this is the plan that I should be that i'll be doing for the two hours plan for that period that i want to do so yeah that's giving me the plan and i'm and i'm going to follow it so so if you if you follow if you are if you stay honest with yourself and follow all this plan that has been stated by the ai it will help you study in just two hours instead of studying for just two weeks or months so i hope you got so much value from this video if you did please like the video and also subscribe to the channel and also check out this video on other tips and information you need on how exactly you can study effectively using active recall and space repetition so thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one